Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4. Kaiser gets the uh, KMT. Let us continue off where we last left off. So, we're now beginning our liberation of Asia. And we're trying to consolidate the power of the party at least a little bit here. More than 25 support of the RCIA, which I believe is... Wait, actually, which one is this? It's for 25 support for KMT RCAR. Is that the... Yeah, okay, that's, that's for the totalists here. And then you are for... Um, Social Democrats. Well, we're going to empower you. To avert the RCA. Radicals of the RCA must be reined in. Less radicalism corrupt. You will gain stability and lose political power portion to how much totalist and social democratic influence you had. Okay. I will say it's a little confusing, but we're, we're trying to reorganize the party at least a little bit here. Giving improved submarine hull. So we can try to build some submarines that are not complete ass. How, how's our navy looking? We have five ships. That's significantly better than what we had before, so I will I will take it. I will 100% take it. So what do we want to do after this? Consulted Frontiers. We get claims on the Kumo Khanate. Demand Mongolia's annexation. The problem with that is that it could theoretically lead to us going to war with Russia. And right now, I can't afford... I can't... Prayer Liberation War against the German Empire, my god. I, I can't really afford to... I can't, I can't afford to go to war with uh, Germany. Or Russia, I should say. It also, like, it's like, get a cost ability against the Japanese. Japan has a navy. How big is the Japanese navy? 134 to 204 ships. I don't know how they ever expect me to be able to build a navy that can compete with that. Give me some cruisers here. We're going to start building up some sort of a navy. You know, where we can. But I'm not expecting great results. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I'm not expecting the, the best results here. So what, what are you? Is faction leader. Regions hitter both vital to Chinese strategic interests around the Philippine governments. So Korea, Japan, Philippines, and Indonesia into China. A lot of also against Singapore. So you actually, basically, I think we have to control all of Asia to get this done. That, that's actually asking quite a bit. Vision training time, organization regain. I mean, you would be nice as well. But the, the, the army needs to be underneath the party, for sure. So let's get that done. Our place in the world. We've now created our own faction. We've got the International of the East. Lesson of War. Declare a permanent capital. Yes. I think we just want to stay in Nanjing. We can go to... Wu I mean, we could go to Wuhan. Actually, no. Wuhan just had a rebellion. No, stay in Nanjing. Absolutely. Boom. Done. And I would like to increase uh, integration of my clique a little bit more. Because right now, look at them. They're paternal autocrats. We can't have a paternal autocrat uh, party leader ruling over central China. That, does, that's, that's, that doesn't fly. So if you can get them uh, integrated sooner rather than later, I would be pretty happy with that. Fate of fellow Republicans. I mean, just basically, I mean, it gives us stability and war support, but there's not really any other Republican factions, right? Like, none of you are Republican. Behind cells, the People's War. Preparing for the long war. We get free war economy, which I mean, it's not bad. You give the cost ability against Japan. Liberate Southeast Asia that gives us wars against basically everybody. Well, basically against Germany's Asia. And you give us cost of bellies against Mongolia, Tibet, and Kumul Khanate. I mean, that would be nice for sure. Let's get an operative. We're going to send you to Taiwan just to see kind of like what's going on over there. So maybe we take an army off of... You know, yeah, let's actually take you out of here for now. Let's send you to the borders with uh, the Kumul Khan and Tibet. See how that goes for us. Let's go with heavy hulls here as well. We're going to have to research a lot of naval stuff. Because we kind of need a navy. 
And how many more dockyards are we building? A lot more. And you know what? I want to build even more still. So you know what? Build more dockyards. Build more dockyards, please and thank you. Like, we had literally basically zero. I need to... We need a navy. <laughs> as, as much as we possibly can. Okay. We subordinated the army to the party. Let's consolidate the frontiers, please. What do you do? You allow send volunteers to probably, like, Europe? Which, I mean... Is oak 15% stability? Holy hell. Cooperation. It's like we could send volunteers to Europe. But I don't think it's really necessary. I, I have a feeling that probably the United States, or I guess the uh, Union of Socialist American States, they probably sent a lot of units to the French border, which is why France has not collapsed yet, even though it really feels like they should have at this point. A loyalty test for the new army. As part of the new official party policy, the chairman has formally subordinated the army under the party, placing all administration and military decisions under his control effectively. Left unopposed by the Cuban Tongue Center Committee, this move has been quickly approved and passed into formal law. Henceforth, the administrative decisions, such as the mobilization of troops, can only be approved by the party central, who, uh, and those who refuse to obey were at once arrested by the subordinates. Meanwhile, the party, uh, the political department has gone to work uh, through elections and other means of political indoctrination to weed out those who still will continue to be loyal to the party and those who will have to be purged. So, of course, we want to just do whoever gives the most um, radical socialist support. Okay, let's uh, send you in here, give you more party popularity, which will mean that we lose less stability with you. So right now, we're losing 14%, which is not terrible by any means i mean it's it's not great either but it's not the worst i think here we'll get some more convoys going um heavy so we have heavy cruisers we got regular cruisers we can get some light ships going as well just to try to have like some i mean again it's, it's all world war one era ships and that's our biggest issue is that our boats suck but if we can get boats that are not hot garbage, my god, we can we can, we'll be we'll be going to the goddamn moon. We'll be flying. Okay, so you'll be done in two days. Which allows us to uh, claim some more territory for ourselves. You require us to own Mongolia, Tibet, Duval, and Kamil. You require us to own Tibet, okay. Again, a war against Japan just doesn't seem useful, right? Like, I can't see who's actually here unless we're at war. I think for now, let us do empower the presidential camilleria. Whatever the hell this says. I already pronounced this word here. Okay. So we're going to first demand Tibet's annexation. We're then going to demand Kumul Khan's annexation as well. Mongolia, I'm willing to leave alone at least for a little bit. Because they do scare me somewhat. Also, the Ottomans still have not beaten their war against the, um, the Egyptians. I don't know how that's possible. But how much political power do we gain right now? 0 0.8? 0 0.89? That's not very good. Tibet wants autonomy. Based uh, against overwhelming political and military odds, Tibet has asked, uh, has seen reason to agree to attend negotiations. I want to risk bloodshed and potential destruction by maintaining a sense of dignity and independence. They've offered us surrender in return for their autonomy. Uh, they will allow us to operate de jure outside of our country as a sovereign entity, but tied exclusively to our marks of political alignments. Sure. You're also demanding autonomy as well. We could just go to... How many troops do you guys have? 10 to 29, huh? You know what? Just for right now, everybody can have some autonomy. If it means that I no longer need to invade you. Because, yeah, you actually have a surprising number of troops. Okay. Well, we can bring you guys back. We're going to send you once again to the border of Russia. And for the most part, we have unified most... I mean, a lot of these areas are still very hostile towards us. We can integrate them more so probably in the future. 
But I think that at least for right now, this is looking okay. So probably yeah, we'll empower you guys. And then immediately go into subverting the RCA. Negative 176 political power. God damn. But, I mean, if we have to do it, we'll have to do it. And then you give us more political power. And you reduce the power, power uh, the popularity of totalism. Okay. Doc second Dr. Sonny at Sen. You become the par the Gofu's party state. Which means... We'll upgrade second commands, more better encryption. Honestly, you don't actually even sound that good, I'll be honest with you, but that's okay. Advanced submarine hall, yeah, let's let's go with you next. Um You know what, 42 artillery? Sounds good to me. Okay, we empowered you. No reconstruction without peace gives us stability. We remove a bunch of penalties for us, which sounds good. And, what, and you need basically everything done, huh? How much, how much support do they have right now? Well, first, let's integrate uh, my clique a little bit more. They're 18 and 16. Well, we'll do it at least one time. That gets them down 8.3 and 9.3. So basically cutting those numbers in half. Which sounds good to me for sure. Small but strong, reformed army foe. I mean, they're, they're lucky I'm giving them autonomy, for sure. And it, it's just for right now. Trust me, in the future, Kumul Khan at Tibet, we're coming for you. We're, we are coming with you for a vengeance. Okay, Columbia's collapsed, which means that you're now all part of the Peru uh, axis here. And then your Montevideo. So we'll probably see Argentina and, and uh, Brazil go to war, but that's not a major... I don't think we give a shit, really. What's, whatever happens in South America happens. That's not my problem. Okay. Do we have any collaborators? Just Mac Leak? Okay. Okay, we improve medium tanks. We could even maybe even go for like the 1943 medium tank, but... I mean, I'm kind of leaning towards it, to be honest with you. 1940 aircraft. Yeah, let's go 1940 aircraft here. And then let us one medium tank. Auto upgrade. All that sounds pretty good. You've already got the radio. Go like smoke launcher. Sure, why not? We'll save you up. Throw you to the top of the list. Give me five of you. How many rifles do we have? 53,000? Okay, we can definitely uh, lower you to 20 factories for now. And after that, we need to get ourselves small basic airframe uh, with radio. And then we're going to sign you some bomb locks, please. You know, you can do both here. Boom, done. Let's throw you to the top of the list. Throw you at 10 factories as well. So we're going to have some naval bombers, some uh, close air support fighters, some normal fighters. All this is looking, I would say, pretty good. I know we don't have any uh, things that use the medium tank yet, but we will. In due time, we will. 72 days. I think we probably have like one, maybe two more levels of that focus that we have to take. And do we want to immediately go down to... Pursue the react, uh, radicalization line. Maybe, yes. Discipline the RCA. This gives more party support, which is nice. I think maybe we just go straight to demanding the return of the concessions. We do own Shanghai, so we can immediately go to war with Germany. Which I, I do think makes sense for us. We are negative 119 political power. I mean, that sounds bad because it is, it's not good. But we're going to demand the, the return of our concessions here. They will probably say no, and in, in which case we just invade them. It's not, it's not a huge deal one way or the other. 
And can our supplies for our units on the border with Russia are not great. But that's not a huge surprise, let's just put it that way. I mean, I would love to demand Mongolia's annexation, but... I can't afford the Russian war. That's that's really the, the big issue here, is I can't afford to go to war with the Russians. At least, I okay, not yet. I at least want to secure our control against... Because if Germany is fighting Russia, I would prefer to kill Germany and Japan first, and then focus on Russia at the end. To me, that makes the most sense. Okay, Fields Creek Heavy Hall. Let's now go to Improved Heavy Hall on you. And actually, you should be upgraded to the Improved Submarine. Yeah, switch you over immediately. Demand that we're the concessions. Okay, America, we no longer need... Show active licenses. We no longer need your submarine. And I don't think we... You know, we can... Uh, yeah, we at least no longer need the submarine right now. We'll strike at Germany's Asia, please. We'll demand concessions from... Well, just a man from everybody, basically. Portugal has refused. Germany's refused. Australia's refused. You guys are assholes, essentially. But I think that at least for right now, this is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So if you enjoyed, thumbs up. Now, join the thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.